you may have already watched our video about pharmacology and drugs. But if not, let's recap. What is a drug? A drug is a substance that when released into the body will cause an effect. Some are legal, some are illegal, and some are prescribed by doctors to treat illnesses. Whether a drug is legal or not, or can be bought without a prescription, varies by country. Recreational drugs are substances that people choose to take, like for example nicotine in tobacco, alcohol or cocoa leaves in the Andes. In this video you're going to learn about two different types of drugs and their effects on the body. The two types of drugs are stimulants and depressants. Why don't you pause the video here and try to guess the difference between the two. Stimulants give increased alertness and the speed of reactions, heart rate and blood pressure. You can think of them as substances that speed you up. Stimulants also reduce a person's appetite. Caffeine, found in coffee, tea and energy drinks, is a legal stimulant. Cocaine is usually an illegal stimulant and is highly addictive. As with most illegal drugs, Taking too much can kill you because of an overdose. Cocaine dramatically increases your risk of a heart attack. Also, after taking cocaine, even just once, people will suffer what's called a come down. The user may feel depressed, have anxiety or panic attacks, hallucinations, or be unable to sleep. Cocaine is often snorted through the nose. If used long term, it can damage the nose to such an extent that the user can lose the septum of their nose. The second type of drug is depressants. They slow down reaction times, decrease inhibitions, damage brain cells, relax users and make them more sociable. You can think of them as substances that slow you down. Alcohol is a depressant. Another common example is cannabis. It's usually smoked but can also be baked in cakes and made into tea. Cannabis relaxes people, but it can make it very difficult to learn or concentrate. It can also cause users to become very paranoid, anxious and sometimes psychotic. Smoking cannabis has been linked to mental health problems such as schizophrenia, especially if it's taken during the teenage years. Which organ system do you think these drugs affect? Most recreational drugs affect the nervous system. The nervous system is made of the central nervous system, CNS, which is the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, or PNS, which includes any nerves outside the brain and spinal cord. Neurons, or nerve cells, are specialized cells found in the nervous system. Can you label any of the cell structures in this diagram? Neurons carry impulses or electrical signals from one place to another in the nervous system. They connect receptors to the central nervous system or CNS and carry impulses back through the peripheral nervous system to affector organs such as muscles and glands. To learn more about how the nervous system helps us sense the world around us, watch this video. When neurons are stimulated, they transmit an electrical impulse. They have many adaptations to make them as efficient at this as possible. Pause the video here and see if you can think of any adaptations. The axon is very long and carries an electrical impulse. It's covered by a fatty sheath made of myelin, which increases the speed at which the nerve impulse is transmitted. The nerve ending, or axon terminal, is branched to make good contact with many other neurons or the effector organ. Two neurons do not make direct contact. Where they meet, there is a very small gap called a synapse. The impulse crosses the gap by means of neurotransmitter chemicals, which diffuse across the gap between the two neurons. Stimulants speed up synaptic transmission, while depressants slow it down. Some drugs stop the impulse from passing across the synapse completely. Drugs such as curare, the South American plant toxin used in arrow poison, do this. They cause complete paralysis and even stop the person from breathing. 
this substance used to be used in anaesthetics, but obviously they had to use exactly the right quantity. Other drugs stimulate the synapse so that once an impulse crosses the gap, the impulse is repeated over and over again. One example is strychnine, a stimulant drug that comes from the same genus of plant as curare. It causes all the muscles in the body to go into a continuous spasm of contraction. In large quantities, it can stop the person from breathing. So now you know more about stimulant and depressant drugs. You have also learnt a little bit about the nervous system and how it's affected by drugs. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.